Hello everybody and welcome back to Football Manager 20. It's um, <clears throat> inconsistent is how I'd describe our form. We uh, did okay. Sheffield Wednesday we won on penalties then lost to Arsenal. After that we beat Sheffield United 3-0. Um, a double from Max Ahrens from right back. Two lovely goals. Long Rangers uh, pinged into the top corner. Lovely stuff. We lost 3-1 to Tottenham after taking the lead which was very disappointing. But um, overall, we're doing all right. We beat Burnley in the Carabao Cup third round, 2-1. Two goals from Jack Byrne in the uh, in the first half hour secured us that one. And then we beat them 4-0 in the league. Pookie getting a brace, Byrne getting another, and uh, Tim Closer scoring in the 93rd minute. We drew 0-0 with Aston Villa, which was 10th v 11th, which was, uh, yeah, we both just equally matched each other, really. And then we went and played at Southampton, who were bottom of the league, and lost 2-1 in the 83rd minute. James Ward-Prowse put them ahead. Pozzo got us a goal. And then Heuberg scored from the edge of the box in the 83rd minute. A bit disappointing. But today we're facing top of the table Liverpool and uh, Newcastle again. That's who we started the season against. We're playing them in the Carabao Cup fourth round. Now, if you're new to the series, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager gaming, more Pez gaming, and whatever games I fancy playing, really, are on the channel. So, that's... um. That's all that done. Let's get into the game against Liverpool. We're going to play... I have set up tactics-wise. Well, there's a couple of things I want to go through, actually, before we get into the game. Tactics-wise, I've got three different tactics now. We've got Norwich at home against weak teams. We've got Norwich away against big teams. And then we've got Norwich winning. So that's generally when we're playing at home using this. And then we go 1 or 2 nil up and we switch to this formation here. But there's an easy, obviously, change between... Um, Norwich big team away and Norwich winning as well. So although we're playing at home, we're going to play our away formation today. Are we going to play our away formation? Maybe we'll start with that one. We'll start with this one and see how it goes, actually. The other thing to talk about is all the new things that you can look at. So um, I've got a performance rating. They, they rate me B, which I think it goes down to D or F maybe. But uh, the board are very pleased with your overall leadership of the team. Happy with the 4-0 win. Moritz Leitner's recent performance and the level of support from the squad. They're concerned about the finances and the deal we used to sell Kenny McLean. And uh, the 2-1 loss against Southampton is a bit of concern as well. B minus, B minus, B minus, B minus, C plus and a B um, is our ratings. This is new in Foot Manager 20. It obviously takes information that was already in the game and just puts it in a more of a... View, easy to view situation and understand and then you get the same with all of these as well with the five-year plan to see how we're going on so they're satisfied that we're playing possession football they're reserving judgment on if i'm developing the youth system and things like that but we'll have to wait and see but i just thought that'd be a nice little screen to show you what was there so that's in club vision and then performance and you can go into a bit more detail about all of the performances as well to understand what's going on so they were very happy uh, when we won three nil against whoever the hell that is. Uh, Disappointed with a 3-1, B- minus for 2-1, a 4-0 win, got an A- plus against Burnley, and then 0-0 and 2-1 was C+, plus and C-. minus. So it just makes it all a bit more visual for you to be able to see what's going on. But we have another Saturday 3 o'clock kickoff. Excuse me if you can hear rude squeaky toy in the background. He's having a very good time playing with it in the lounge. Um, but yeah, let's go in and face Liverpool then and see how we get on. So this is what we're probably lining up like. Um, Roberts is going to get a start on the wing. Cantwell, in, invert, um, inverted winger. Pozzo is going to start up front ahead of Puki. I'm just wondering if Wendia goes on the bench. And he's not, not incredibly fit for it. I think we'll leave Jack Byrne on there at the moment. Again, I cannot stress enough, this guy... If you've got a save going on, just buy him as a backup right winger for 250k or whatever it costs. And it was, it, it was a great signing. Absolutely great signing. He's yeah, 250k from Shamrock Rovers. Five appearances in the league. Two goals, three assists. He's He could be one of those hidden gems in the game that you find. I found him through player search, just searching for certain attributes. And it was absolutely brilliant to see, um, to, to, to find him and get him on the cheap and then... Um, bring him into the club. So it was really good. They're lining up in a 4-2-3-1. They've got Eduardo leaving the line. The line. Firmino in attacking midfield. Mane on the right. Chain, uh, left. Chamberlain on the right. Is there no Salah? Yeah, no Salah at all. Um, with Naldem and Henderson in the middle. Robertson, Gomez, Van Dijk and Alexander Arnold and Alisson in goal. We have Farman, Aarons, Godfrey, Keher and Lewis at the back. Amadou, Vranic and Leitner in the middle. Roberts, Campwell and Pozzo starting up front. So... The pressure is off. The pressure is definitely off. Um, I'm not expecting this to get any sort, any sort of result. Um, Liverpool are top of the table and doing very well this season. We are mid-table and 
Liverpool are much better than us. So this is probably going to be 1-0. Virgil van Dijk over the bar. Good. We haven't got 1-0 down inside five minutes. So uh, we could drop to cautious, I think. Well, we'll leave it on balance. We are the home team, so we'll leave it there. Tim Krul has been dropped. Ralph Farman is a much better goalkeeper in this game, if you're ever concerned or worried about that. Um, Ralph Farman is much better in Football Manager 20 than Tim Krull. Here is Aaron's Max. Aaron's great run. Cuts it back. And there's a head of Pozzo. What a save from Allison. We could have had the lead. Oh, that would have been a turn up for the books. And here is Leitner with the corner. In it goes, and it's easy for Allison to claim. But yeah, oh, what a save from Allison that was early on. We've started well. We've started well. Not that that means anything. We know that Liverpool could also. That from Max Aaron definitely came down the right hand side. There we go. 50 50 is gone to at the moment. But um, yeah, we know Liverpool can turn it on at any time. They're uninterested in what Jurgen Klopp has recently told them half an hour in I'm, I'm gonna say uh i'm gonna demand a bit more from them i think let's ask a bit more of our players as they go up towards eduardo Kehoe just gets it away roberts is beating there max aaron puts his foot through it and clears it and uh, virgil van dyke's missed it pozzo pozzo's in one on one that's an absolutely terrible finish what on earth is that joseph pozzo that's terrible jose pozzo that is uh, awful Oxley chamberlain swings in the cross. A lot of bend on it. Eduardo down. Well, now Adam's there. And just when we probably should have got a really good opportunity from us with Pozzo, we find ourselves 1-0 down with Wijnaldum sticking it in after Eduardo's little knockdown. They signed him from uh, Celtic, I think, Eduardo. But Chamberlain, lovely curling ball in. Eduardo knocks it down. Wijnaldum on the half volley. Or the volley, sorry. Farman can't do anything from that range. And uh, Liverpool get the 1-0 lead. And there's another corner of Wijnaldum again. Oh my word, this is unbelievable. Chamberlain to Vinaldum is obviously the set piece of dreams if you're a Liverpool uh, fan or a supporter. And we find ourselves in quick succession, 2 0 down, two corners. And uh, Vinaldum has a brace, which is very, very annoying because we started the game quite well. But at half time, 2 0 down, three minutes apart, the goals. Um, not happy with that. Well, I'm a, I said I'm unlucky because they're a very good team. But uh, Cantwell is really not playing well. We're going to bring Pookie on. Pozo's going to go out to the inverted winger role. And Leitner is having an absolute shocker. So we're going to bring Burn on in there. He did get two goals against... Uh, his two goals against Burnley came in that midfield role. Playing in there. We can mix it up to the home formation. But I think that would leave us a little bit vulnerable to the front four of Liverpool's... The, well, that Liverpool have. Because they're very, very good. So... Let's see how we can do then. Virgil van Dijk over a free kick. Splits it out to the left towards Sadio Mane. Look at Robertson. Look at the amount of space and time he's got. Robert's not tracking him, but then I do want him to just stay on attacking. Roberts with the ball into the back post. Chamberlain hits the bar with that one. Let's just up it to positive then. We'll just go slightly, slightly more positive. I mean, it's been absolute domination from Liverpool. Was it Liverpool against Norwich when Suarez scored a hat-trick and then they still lost? Or was that Crystal Palace? I can't remember. Um, God through the header. Vranic flicks it on one more. Pukki knocks it back. Roberts is in space. He's got men square, but he's going to go on his own. Surely Roberts shoots. Oh, Allison. He's just unbeatable today. What a save from Allison there. Patrick Robertson takes the corner, and there was no one running into that position. He's knocked it down. Pozzo shoots, and Robertson clears. And then Roberts keeps it in play. Beats his man. Puts it back in across again, but it's too long, too hard. And Pukki couldn't get on the end of that one. Uh, Pozzo is not playing well out there anyway, so we're going to bring on uh, Josip Dermic out there as our third and final sub. And he's not an out and out winger inside forward role, but he can sort of do it. But with 10 minutes to go, I mean, we've done okay. We, uh, Liverpool was, as I said, expecting to come. I think we had some chances in the first half where we could have taken the lead. Robert should have scored then. and. Um, Pozzo in the first half probably should have scored. But it's a 2 0 win to Liverpool. I, I think, you know, calmly, I'm going to say I'm far from pleased, but I th yeah, we could have done better. But Newcastle is the game that we're all really interested in because it's the Carabao Cup, and that's what we're going to go and win, hopefully. Um, well, that's what we're aiming to win, anyway. That's the, the competition I think is the best chance of us winning. And it would be good to get Norwich far in that, but we dropped down to 13th. Um, 11 points after 10 games we should be safe you know if you average a point a game you're roughly generally safe it's 38 points and 40 is the target um, but as you can see we're actually only 3 points off Tottenham in 8th so it's not a, well Watford and Bournemouth results uh, are, are coming in as well but it's not too bad it's not too bad so uh, yeah but I will repeat Foot Manager 20 I am really enjoying it it's a Really good game at the moment. Obviously, as I said in the last episode, it has that new game bounce where 
you just always want to play it. But it seems to flow quite smoothly. I don't. I do think it's a sort of a 19.5. I think what they've done is taken information that was already in the game, and they present it to you in a better way, which you could argue is a new game. But it doesn't. I, that sort of stuff doesn't really bother me because the amount of hours per price that I pay for Football Manager is absolutely ludicrous. I clearly always get my money's worth, so. It's really not a problem. So no, uh, Newcastle are actually just above us in the table. So it will be a tough game. It will be a tough game. So it thinks they're going to rotate and play Atsu, Gale, the Longstaff brothers, Mankio, Dummett at centre-back, interestingly, and Rob Elliott in goal. So hopefully we can go at them and, uh, and have, a, have a good game here. Have a, put, a, put a team out that's going to do well and get a good result. That's what we want to do. So... Uh, Max Aaron's Max Aaron's but I thought I read that completely wrong. I thought I said Max Aaron's makes his England debut. I was like what the hell have they why are they having an international game here? But obviously I'm an idiot and I read it completely wrong. So there we go. Um Okay, scouting meeting, whatever, whatever, Norwich Lone Player. As I said, all this stuff that we're flicking through here, scouting, all and making how I make tactics and how I decide what I'm gonna do. I'll probably go into a lot more detail with all that sort of stuff with the folks in the Victor Save. Even maybe do videos just about how to make a tactic, what I do making a tactic, how I go and search for players and things like that. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't get bogged down too much in, oh, you're just rushing through this. It is the beta save and I am looking more forward to the the uh, the other save. So, we're going to start Pookie up front in this one. Pozzo out on the inverted winger. Um, Jamal Lewis, Tim Close, Kerda. We're actually, yeah, we're probably going to play this thing. Godfrey, why is Godfrey in and not Amadou? In fact, we are at home, so we're going to go to our home formation. So we're going to swap um, Amadou and Vranic over. And then we will do Leitner and Vranic. And then Leitner comes off to be replaced by Buendia. Puki starts up front, Roberts on the wing, Pozo there, Lewis, Close, Kerda, Aaron Farman on the bench. Um, we're going to actually bring Samu onto the bench. And Sam Byram's going to come on the bench for Zimmerman as well. I think that's more like it, I think. So that is what we're going to go with. Buendia is an interesting one. He's hot and cold. He either plays really, really well and gets like a 7.5 or an 8 or something like that. Or gets like a 5.6 or a 6.1 sort of rating. So he is labelled as an un unpredictable attacking midfielder. And that's exactly what he plays like. He, he doesn't do very well every game. He's not really, doesn't have like a medium level. He's either really good or really shit. And it's a problem, but I'm hoping that a game like this will get the most out of him. So he is struggling. He's just been injured. So, but we just got to hope that he comes back and does well. And I say Almiron had a good game against us last time. Gale, Atsu, Longstaff, Longstaff, Williams, Dummett. Yeah, so our scouts predicted what they would play pretty much. Um, it looks like we've got a bit stronger than them, as in first team, but uh, we're the favourites for a reason. Get out there and give me a performance, and then we'll go for the old I have faith again, uh, which is good. We'll ask the assistant to do the responsibilities. We'll get into the game. Second game of the episode, disappointing result against Liverpool. Um, Emmy puts that in towards closer. It's headed away. Kerr knocks it down. Roberts is there. It's over the bar. First minute in, and we have a great opportunity to take the lead. But Patrick Roberts can't get it on target. It's a very strange formation, this. I very rarely see wing-backs and wingers on the on the same sort of pitch in the same team. You normally have one or the other. But uh, Lewis throws it into Amadou. Back to Jamal Lewis. He's just holding on to the ball. Back inside to uh, Vranic, into Amadou. Back up it goes to Lewis. He finds himself in a bit of space. Lewis then cuts it across. And there's Vranic on the edge with a shot just over the bar. I think it clipped it as it went over. But it's all Norwich at the moment. But hang on, because here is Christian Atsu over the ball for Newcastle. Lays it short to Miguel Amaron, who's just run freely into the box. And he's going to shoot, and it hits the side netting. Ralph Farman wasn't really worried about that one. But we're doing okay. Did I take off? Yeah, I did take off work ball into the box. It seems to really restrict our crossings. Crossings? Crossing ability, having work ball into the box. But uh, here comes Almiron again, driving through the rain with the ball at his feet. And he cuts inside one, shoots, and Farman makes an easy save. We actually seem to be a bit more susceptible to the counter-attack since we've gone to positive. So we go back to balance. There's Almiron is all over the... Sh he is 
really good in this in FM, it appears. As uh, Jetro Williams comes forward on the left-hand side, lays it back to Almiron. Almiron, one more to Longstaff. He's got a good long shot on him, but that one's not on target. And Newcastle definitely coming back into this game. So I'm going to demand more from my Norwich players. As uh, DeAndre Yedlin throws it in. That's really bad. And Amadou's picked it up. Puki into Bundia. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, Rob Elliott was nowhere near it. And Bundia's hit the post. So unlucky. And Newcastle live to fight and survive for another day. Or another, well, 60 minutes as we just get the halfway mark. But uh, Pozzo picks this up on the left wing. Looks to cut in field. Here is Bundia again. Unlucky striking the post from range. Has another go, but that one's not as accurate. And it goes behind the goal for a goal kick. And again, we're getting back into it. We've gone back to balance. And we're not chucking as many men forward, leaving us not as open to the counter-attack. But still dominating the game. Pozzo into Buendia. Buendia flicks it into Roberts. There's a good overlap on the right-hand side. Can we pick him out? No, we've left it a little bit too late. Amadou might try it now. Into Vranic. Vranic into Roberts. That overlap is still there. And there we go. Aarons has finally picked it up. Just looking for that cross. And that's got to be a penalty, referee. He's gone to VAR. Is it in or out the box? It's outside the box. It's a free kick. Looks to see that foot manager still carries on from that from FM19 where all those close efforts are just out of the box. But Buendia will put this in and Chetro Williams gets it away. And now there is a chance for a counter-attack because we shoved a lot of people forward. And, uh, well, Pookie gets back really well. Good work ethic from the, from the finish at striker. He's good. We're just lacking those shots on target. That's our issue at the moment. Five minutes till half-time. And it has been a close game. I'd say we've just about edged it. I'd say I think we don't possibly deserve a goal, but we've created the best chances in the game. Here is Sean Longstaff into Atsu. And uh, Newcastle keeping it keeping it pretty well. Gale gets there and tries to go again. Almiron gets it onto his right foot, lays it off. Jetro Williams shoots. He's hit the bar. And that's probably the closest either team has come in this game. And Newcastle are giving us a run for our money here. Maybe both teams want this Carabao Cup. Because it's uh, yeah, it's been interesting. Let's go assertively. Uh, if we get the goal, I'll make us favourites in there. Their heads will drop. Their heads will definitely drop. Um, you have the ability. You have the ability. Then Pookie will just tell him you weren't that bad, and you can still improve. We'll leave it as it is um, with the line. They've changed to a four-one-four-one, a very defensive four-one-four-one as well. Not suspecting that they're they're not really pushing for anything anymore. Um, They've brought on Andre Savier as well, someone that, whose name I struggled to pronounce early on. And um, I don't. Let's bring on Samu. We're going to bring on Samu for Pozzo. He's not had the best of games on a 6.6. We've also got 6.5 for Jamal Lewis. And we don't have another left back on the bench. I'm going to chuck Sam Byram over there. Just because he's a fullback. Don't like my fullbacks not playing well. Um, when Deer will look to turn, gets away from Matty Longstaff. Here is Buendia. Puts it up towards Pookie. He holds it up really well. That's good hold-up play from Pookie. Looking to get other people in involved. Vranic into Buendia. Patrick Roberts! Oh, just past the post again. Try to get that curling shot off, but it was just past the post. And uh, we are playing... We are playing well. We are playing well. We can up it a little bit. We are sort of playing the most attacking I would want to, though. As Vranic is tackled well by Atsu, who then tries to clear. Max Ahrens will pick it up. I'm worried that we're going to rue these chances that we're missing as Bundia into Roberts. Roberts swings it to the back post. It's headed away. Samu will pick it up. Haven't seen too much of him on live camera, and that's why, because he got here very easily tackled by Lejeune. Longstaff pulls up. What's going on here? Is it a foul? Is it a penalty? Lejeune has been no penalty after the review. Lejeune, was, uh, that was being reviewed, that, that tackle on Samu. But uh, nothing there. I'm going to bring on, for the last 10 minutes, we're going to bring on Dermic for Puki. And get some fresh legs right up top and see if we can make the difference. Jetro Williams fires this one across and Lejeune heads over the bar. Um, let's get creative, please, lads. They're inspired. By no oh, Newcastle are inspired. We're also inspired. Steve Bruce has said something inspiring. That's incredible. Um, okay, we're going to go Vranic up first. Then we'll go Dermic second again. Then we'll go Samu. We'll go Bundia. Then we're going to go Kahera for his composure. Then Roberts is number six, and then Amadou at number seven. That's what we're going to go for. It's another round in the Carabao Cup for penalties. And uh, Keeson Young is going to take this against Farman, sends in the wrong way, and tucks it in the bottom corner. 
a good penalty. Vranic steps up for Norwich. He's going to be against Rob Elliott. Vranic left-footed. Down the middle just about beats Rob Elliott. It's tense stuff. Dwight Gale. You'd expect Dwight Gale to score. He's got a good strike on him. A very good goal scorer at championship level. Can he stick this penalty away? He can't. Ralph Farman makes the save. Lovely stuff. Dwight Gale there. Missing as uh, Dermot steps up. Our best penalty taker who was on the pitch. Came on late for Pookie. Nice and fit. And he tacks it into the bottom corner. Sending Rob Elliott the wrong way. Yet again, the Norwich fans go, go very not crazy behind the goal, but they're enjoying it. Christian Atsu. Uh, signed from Chelsea, I think. Uh, left footed into the bottom corner. Lovely farm and didn't have the reach on him. It's 2 2, but Norwich do have the advantage. Samu steps up. New signing at Carrow Road this season. This is the highest pressure situation he's been in and tucks it past Rob Elliott again. And uh, the pressure is building now on Newcastle. Andre Savier not wanted at Newcastle anymore. Transfer listed. Frenchman steps up against Farman and he sends in the wrong way. Lovely penalty, to be fair. Be fair to the guy. Absolutely lovely penalty. And here is Emil Bundia. Or Emi Bundia. And uh, Bundia. Oh, tucks it away. Lovely stuff. We have We've been very composed from the penalty spots here. Penalty spots? There's only one of them. Penalty spot. And now it's up to Jetro Williams. Hit the bar in the second half. It's up to him to score or Newcastle are out. And he knows the pressure. It's a long walk from the halfway line. Ralph Farman's taking his time to get in goal. The crowd behind the goal will be putting him off as much as possible. And Jetro Williams left footed. He has to score. And he doesn't. Ralph Farman saves it. And we progress again in the Carabao Cup. Into the quarterfinals we go. Is this going to be a reality? Let me know down below. Do you think we can win a trophy with Norwich in our first season? Um, I said I was very happy with the result. I'm happy with the result, not really the performance. But we go through on penalties. Liverpool and Man United and Brentford all go through. Obviously, Brentford, the pick of that group, um, is the one I'd want in the next round. And I think the draw may be coming up soon. I'm not too sure when it is. It is. It will be before the next game. So we will go through to the next... Um, next round to see who we get and if we get Liverpool I am going to be very annoyed because they will beat us but uh, the quarterfinals I mean that's an achievement I reckon in itself the big concern is playing time and wants it to reflect he's good enough to be considered a regular starter well you are quite good actually I probably should give you a chance um, I probably should give you a chance instead of Buendia in, in that attacking midfield role when we play it and we've got West Ham away so we probably won't be playing it in that formation um, Byron and Pellegrini set for the reunion West Ham favourites and Norwich clash send assistance to that let's go and see who we're going to get Zahovic recommends Lukic as a top target, Sasa Lukic it's good. I mean Zlatko Zahovic has been very very busy as my director of football he hasn't stopped recommended players but here we are, the quarter final draw for the Carabao Cup we will draw, uh, so ideally Charlton or Brentford or Ac Accrington would be wonderful. Let's do the automatic draw. We'll give it a bit of suspense. First out of the hat is Arsenal at home at the Emirates against Man United. Big game. Norwich, are, we're playing at home. Carrow Road, Liver, for fuck's sake. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Football manager, size, 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 size games. Can you hear me? This is ridiculous. Literally just said I don't want Liverpool and it's the game I get. Unbelievable. And it's going to be on New Year's Eve. Interesting. Well, there we go. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We'll end on the Club Vision performance page. It's still a B minus. We've gone to now, but um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Foot Manager 2020. If you're new, please do leave a like, subscribe to the channel. There'll be hopefully daily content. But I do have visitors coming to Singapore soon, so I'm not too sure. But thank you so much for watching. For now, I'm out. Cheers. <laughs>